sunset. Look at the sunset. Hi. <laughs> Back where it all started for some of the ancestors. No, let me stop being dramatic. <laughs> but this place is interesting though. So, I changed, obviously. My hair is down just because I was running to catch the bus. I missed it. I'm trying to get where it was 25 minutes away. I said, nah, nah. directionally challenged like myself these boys look so crazy i have gotten lost in the times in these places it's like the streets on streets on streets and they're like oh colorful street oh 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 oh, oh. and i just turn this braid looks ridiculous okay. it still looks ridiculous <laughs> whatever y'all just forgive my hair okay i shouldn't i'm overdressed as it is my hair whatever um this is amazing <laughs> I'm trying to be back at the hotel so I can get in the pool. I'm trying to do everything today. Um, because yesterday, I was like real nervous and scared about everything. But today, I'm trying to do everything. So I'm just, I already walked on the beach. I'm good with that. But I am trying to get in that pool today because it looks very inviting. <sighs> I needed a bear. Please, please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my god, this is a mess. Just like me. Just like me. That'll do. Sleeves. No, y'all, I'm sorry. It's too much. This is just too much. Okay. <laughs> this place is crazy. This is the view that you want. Look at the sunset. Look at the sunset. In the beautiful waters. The beautiful waters. Look at my bed move. Look at my bed move. Why are men creeps everywhere? Just like, that's the creep back there, y'all can't see him. I'm not gonna show that man. I don't even know where he is. Look at the sunset and the beautiful waters. The beautiful waters. Look at the sunset. Look at the sunset. And the beautiful waters. There you go. I'm trying to get all types of thumbnails. I got thumbnail options on deck. This place is amazing. Amazing balls. Like, I definitely want to come back. Now that I, that bus ride was everything. Because it was like a tour. Because that's like, that's what I needed. I was like, don't understand Spanish. So I listened to I'm sitting on the bus and listened to all the things. I was like, okay, so, okay, so we're good. We get over here. Okay, this is cute. Okay, awesome. And now I know what's going on. That's all you need. A little bit of direction. See? Do you see what I see? This was an amazing trip, man. I don't know, regret it now. I knew I wasn't going to. The Spanish crown began work on the fortification of Cartagena. What was in this room? Mm -hmm. Very small. So cute, probably nobody's dog. You're such a cutie. Okay. I could live here. Like, once I learn Spanish, I still have to go to Panama because I want to see if I can live there too. <laughs> if I actually know where I live, and like, you know, my, my, my life is finally on fleet. Where am I going to move to? I have a little house. <laughs> Thank you. 
These shoes, by the way, I mean, they're not very practical, but they were a lot more comfortable than all the other shoes that I brought. Okay. Oh my God, this is pretty much 90 degrees. TF, y'all. And these shoes, <laughs> it's not comfy. Like I can see, they're not going too well for me. <laughs> Michelle, where are you? We're supposed to be walking through caves together. Last cave or tiny place I guess I walked through is definitely my auntie. Like that. Just, you know, put the lights in. Oh, where did this one go to? Oh, Every time I places like this, I always wonder how they secure the area. Like, how do they make sure everyone's out of here at the end of the night? Do they? It's creepy. I'm done. I'm done. Going through tunnels. I got this. It was cute. Was finally got my pictures. I got my video. <laughs> is that a shame? Is this the whole reason why we do this stuff? To have pictures and video? I mean, you do it just to do it, but it seems like, I mean, before social media, things probably, you probably were a lot more in the moment. So, like, even while I was on this, on this trip, I noticed sometimes I was like, looking at the camera screen like I'll be looking at the camera screen as opposed to looking at what I'm doing like I'll be recording so say I'm recording this instead of looking at this I'll be recording this I definitely want to come back oh it's sad because I don't know when I'll be back again like it won't be like sometime soon it's not like I want to come back every other day but it's just that's how I am sentiments I'm thinking like what probably some years from now oh if ever what if I never come back here That'll be sad. Oh, I like Colombia. I want to come back. For sure, I want to come back. But I have so many other places to visit. Like I, this is my, this was my first time out of the country. Like period. So I have, I have everywhere else to go. <laughs> like everywhere else to go. Let me get this one for y'all. Stay key, huh? <laughs> right now, you are here. Right there in the middle of things, you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right there in the middle of things, right there in the middle of things. My head is a mess. A mess. Up. A mess. All right. I'm guessing doing like a hotel. Crusty. A hotel. Um. What's we looking for? A hotel tour. Room tour. Hotel room tour. Not much to show. But. Cause I'm checking out tomorrow. Come on, for camera. Oh, that's what I'm wearing tomorrow: sweater, pants, a little bodysuit, bag. I didn't use this bed. Suitcase packed. Oh, that's the hotel I'm staying at. Room 1710. Double bed. Jamming system. <laughs> Light, painted lights, bed, messy computer, Ooh, little sham thing, room service. I ordered the first day I got here. Microwave I had to have sent up. Chocolate that I got. Overpriced chocolate, y'all. This chocolate was like the same price as a dinner. I, did, I never really mastered uh, the conversion rate, but I know that I spent too much on this chocolate. That's all I do now. <laughs> too much. Another door. There's like two doors in here that lead to other rooms. Paintings, kind of cool. Trash cans, shoes I'm wearing tomorrow. A little shelf, another trash can, towel, towel, ghetto. <laughs> Toilet shoes in that bag. Oh, take these. Put that in the bag. I had that packed the day I was supposed to leave, but I, as you probably know, I missed my flight, so I didn't pack it the next day. I took it out to use it, didn't put it back. That was Dollar it's cool. Dollar Tree is my favorite place. What up, the Virginia? So it's a Virginia store. Lights. Okay. Uh, regular toilet tissue. 
Yeah, this roll of tissue kept falling every freaking five seconds. Um, bidet. Oh my god, love the bidet. Definitely use the bidet. Trash can. Shower was nice. This, this, is the, this is the perfect shower that you need in every house. You don't have to worry about shower curtains. You don't have to worry about none of that. Like the glass door. Um, tile. Tile. Easy to clean. Like, again, I'm, I'm a very simplistic person. Keep it easy. Keep it simple, stupid. Things don't need to be overcomplicated. So, yeah, the shower was nice. The bidet was lovely. The tis towel, y'all. Oh my god, I don't know why I was so obsessed with this towel. Look at that texture. Ugh, most towels do not have that texture. Like I hate, I don't like to wash with towels because they're so smooth. Like it's not even wiping any dirt off. But this towel was lit. I need to like get one of those towels. Um, the main thing I like using it for though was to wash my face. I mean body too, but I like the little, it had the slight texture that was good for wash, slight texture that was good for washing my face. But then I came to the, to the conclusion that I can use any towel to wash my face. So I'm just gonna start doing that when I get back because I didn't do that beforehand. I was tired down for a week. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much the room. Actual camera died, so now I'm using my cell phone. This is the balcony that's also attached to the hotel room. I spent a lot of time on here. <laughs> Two little chairs, little table. Very, very warm. This weather is lovely. Look at that. It's like a long drop to your certain depth. This is my view from my um, room. Very lovely also. There's the beach down there. There's, there's constantly waves like that, kind of cool. I got here five o'clock on the 5th and I was so freaking scared and nervous. <laughs> I was just so scared. I was I was pretty much just in my head um, and I was scared to take a taxi, but I ended up having to because I didn't want to stand there looking like a tourist, looking lost. So I just took a, a taxi to my, um, to my hotel. They were cool. Both of the taxis that I took, neither one of the guys spoke English, but we had like slight conversations in my limited Spanish and their limited English. So, but um, yeah, that's definitely a goal for 26. I really want to learn Spanish. Now that like, coming here really makes me want to learn Spanish. Like it's, and I feel like I, like I was so worried about saying things perfectly, but I would hear people, you know, like the words that I did know, um, I don't know. They, like, they don't have to be spoken perfectly for someone to understand what you're saying. Long story short. I don't speak Spanish. don't have Wi-Fi. I don't know where I'm going. That was my main thing. Like, my main thing was, even if you don't know an area, even if, you, even if you can't communicate, as long as you're able to get around and know where you're going, know where you're going, that's fine. I didn't have that luxury, that option. Like, I did not know where I was going. Um, I, I, you know, made a lot of mistakes. Like, I didn't prepare to use my phone in Colombia, I was just like, oh, okay, I'll be able to use it. Like, I, I wasn't even thinking about it. They came and I was like, I, I, I can't use my phone. Like, that's pretty much what happened. So I wasn't prepared in that aspect and therefore I didn't know where I was going most of the time and I didn't like that. So I was so nervous about going out the first night, I didn't go anywhere. Next day, I sat um, in, the, in the room till like three o'clock, I was editing a video. That's just an excuse for, because I was still nervous about going out. Um, but I was like, I'm not, I didn't come here to sit in the hotel room and, and look at this view. I really didn't, so. I went out and went to the walled city and I had a good time. Like, I was really, really, really happy that I went. And then I, at the end of the night though, I started to freak out because again, I didn't have Wi-Fi and the tech, all the streets are blocked off. So the taxis couldn't, I, I, I would call Ubers, but they couldn't reach me because I was in an area that was blocked off. So I paid for a bunch of Ubers that I couldn't take, um, couldn't find because again, no, no service. I don't know what direction I'm going in. I'm unfamiliar area. Didn't speak the language. I was trying to, you know, c communicate with people, but I was frantic. I already talked fast, as you know, so I was frantic, kind of. I was starting to get frantic. Couldn't really communicate with people. Um, they were like, "What?" and I was like, "What?" So it was, it was, it was interesting. So I ended up um, going to a La Taparia, La Taparia, um, and they had Wi-Fi and they had um, street access. So the taxi, the Uber driver, could reach me. I got the Uber guy came. This place is definitely not westernized at all. It, it, it feels like I'm in Colombia. I really felt like a baby. I was like, I feel like a toddler who cannot communicate with anyone. Like basic things. I'm just like, I, I, uh, I don't know what's going on. It was uh, an eye opener. Again, everyone was speaking in Spanish. Like this is not like a place where you would go and just be like, oh, whatever, I can wing it, which is what I tried. I mean, I did do it, but I, I would definitely suggest knowing a little bit more Spanish um, when you come to a country like Cartagena, Colombia. I mean, a city like Cartagena, Colombia. So you're gonna be, um, people are gonna expect you to speak Spanish. Yeah, it, this, this, it, it was awesome. Like I had a really, 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 really good time. 
And um, I'm looking forward to coming back whenever that is. It's no joke. Like, the language really does create barriers. Like, and it's kind of like scary going through, uh, it's already scary enough going through the airport. Like, you never know if they want to stop you for some BS, especially in a foreign country where you don't speak the language. But yeah, I made it through. I'm sitting here now waiting. Um, my skin actually doesn't look that bad for some reason. I guess the camera is keeping me the flow. I'm just, I'm not ready to go, but I am. <laughs>